climbing these rocks, which takes all fours. So, um, the one safe thing that I do, I'll tell you that I do, is that I always, um, like I, do, I just call my parents and let them know that I was going up. Um, since no one does know where I live, and then if they don't hear from me in three hours, so I'll call them in another three hours, uh, they'll call the police. So that, um, <laughs> just in case uh, someone needs to find me or my dogs need to be fed. So on that note, I'm going to have to stop teething again soon. It's interesting. I wonder what lives in these things. As I'm going to be gonna need this is straight ahead. And I'm going up there. So um yeah, I'm gonna need uh, my limbs again. So, so up until this point, I was actually on my property, and here you can see the white marks on the trees. See there, there you can see some over there, so marks. And so this is now we're now entering state game land, which. Luckily for me, there's thousands of miles up. So we're gonna keep continuing up and I actually see really nice, fresh porcupine. I'll have to show you guys porcupines. I always take these videos and I never share them because I always think you guys are gonna be bored and that you wouldn't be interested, but I guess it's, it's time to, uh, yeah, show you what's going on, but yeah, so that all, there's those last two steeps. And then, you know, yeah, it's just, I'm really lucky. I can share it with you, which is so cool. All right, look at this rock, this is cool. It's huge. That's taller than I am right there. Slubbled out a little bit. And so I'll take you uh, well, it's level up to there, and then we're going to go up there. It's a nice spot. So, um, yeah. Here we go. Oh, don't take my word for it. I am. Um, I'm just personal experience. I really am not a not a biology teacher, but unless someone can tell me differently, this is what porcupines do, and it's the way they gnaw. And also, you can tell it's relatively fresh because of the the bits on the ground. They like eating. Is it the candy? I'll have to look it up. Part of the, I, know, I did find a porcupine den and you should see their scat. It's just fibrous, go figure. See how it's around the tree, how oh, it's very loose. Um, yeah. And this is, the marks that they leave. It's very definitive. Just nothing like it. Teeth marks. So, okay. So you can tell if there's a porcupine around. Now, something that I will also tell you that I learned from 
I was a park ranger for a while. So I got to know people that were in the game commission, fish commission, stuff like that. Something I was told that I can't find and take you to another place for this porcupine. It was a porcupine recently. That's very, that's pretty darn recent. See, on the other side, you can tell that's not as fresh. Um, uh, okay. In some states, uh, I'll, I'm going to look this up then to make sure. In some states, they um, protect porcupines as it's an easy source of food if you get lost. Now, this is what I was told. So I will go and check it out and see, make sure it's valid. And um, supposedly they're very easy to kill. Um, really, the only way to kill them, and Martins kill them, what they do is they gnaw at their face. But as a human, you can take a stick or your foot and uh, kick them in the head. There's something about the meat, too, that uh, doesn't, it's not a big deal to eat raw. So in some states, they uh, made it so that they, uh, you can't kill them. Uh, there's porcupine galore. Is, and this is why people do like killing them. Um, again, here's fresh, fresh bits on the ground. The layer that they don't want, it, I think it's the cambium layer that they like. But as you can see, they, with ease, destroy trees. And so many places they get killed and shot for it. Yeah, I didn't know that it oh, if I could always find this den. Again I could show you the scat. For those of you who don't know, is the shit. The shit of the uh, porcupine. And it's it's about say two inches and it looks like digested wood. very easy to recognize and the other thing is they usually they take it out of um they put it on the outside of their den they don't leave it in their den there's usually a big pile outside of their den but again I'll you know what I'll attach this with the the uh, scat ID thing that I got from last time I uh, brought a camera out here because I really I need to start descending because I'm getting a bit fatigued. And then I can start with porcupines. Okay. I just rewound. I rewound the um, rewound the view tape. I'll be in this tree. Um I rolled around the cat den, which is I thought was a bad cat den, right down here. And right here, I'm wondering if this actually is Fisher. And if I want to get on tape, this is what I'm talking about, what I'm looking for. So you understand So 
so you really understand what my turn-ons are.